Did you know that when Blocks Fruits first launched, there were only 12 total fruits in the game, and Guns literally had no skills? This is the evolution of Blocks Fruits. On January 16th, 2019, Blocks Fruits was officially released to the public. The level cap during this time was literally just 300. When the game released, the first swords that were added were the Dark Blade, Saber, Bicento, Cutlass, Triple Katana, Dual Katana, Katana, Warden Sword, Pipe, Dual Headed Blade, Shark Saw, and Iron Mace. And there were only a total of 12 fruits, and this was the Bomb, Spike, Chop, Smoke, Rubber, Flame, Ice, Dark, Light, Magma, Quake, and Buddha. And there were literally only two fighting styles just the basic combat fighting style that everybody gets when you join the game and dark step and the overall accessories include the vice admiral's coat tomoe ring swordsman hat pink coat and usopp's hat and the guns in the game were the slingshot musket flintlock refined slingshot refined flintlock and cannon and moving on to update 2 this is when block fruits got its second update on june 16th 2019 they increased the level cap to 500 they added a new sword which was the soul cane they added two new fruits the phoenix and spring they added a new gun the refined musket they added a new fighting style which is the electric fighting style they added a new island which was the magma island and they added a new npc to help you remove your box fruit which everyone knows is located behind the prison and they also released a rubber rework making the fruit a little bit better they increased the mastery capacity made code accessories bigger and added a light sword so now the light fruit also had a passive ability moving on to update 3 which was literally just released like 15 days later they increased the level cap to 650 they added a trident and pole they added the string fruit and the rumble fruit they added the bazooka and they added underwater cities upper sky and the coliseum they also added a new ability which is observation which is everybody's favorite ability because it literally lets you dodge people they also buffed a few fruits like the rubber light and phoenix and this update had a lot of fixes moving on to update 3.5 this was a pretty small update the new things added were the graybeard boss the Bicento v2 and just a few minor fixes Moving on to update 4, which was released on the 7th of July 2019. They added a Dark Blade V2, they added the Sand Fruit, and they had a butt ton of fixes. They also buffed the Sand, Phoenix, and Light Fruit. And they also added a way to spend your stat points faster, so you didn't just have to spend one at a time. Moving on to update 5, which was released on July 14th, 2019. They increased the level capacity to 750. They added the final island of the first sea, the Fountain City, and they added the Gravity Fruit. They also added a new accessory which was the cool shades and one of the best fighting styles to this day water kung fu they also buffed the light fruit once again along with the flame fruit and they added some slight nerves to the dark blade moving on to update 6 which happened on july 28th 2019 and this update was majorly focused around the pvp system fruit balancing crews and bounty and honor they revamped a bunch of fruits the flame ice light and magma and they also added crews so pirates above the level of 300 can create a new crew and you can invite up to 15 players to be in that crew and this is when they added the honor system to marines because then they have something like the pirates to keep them grinding and they finally gave skills to every single gun in the game because before this update guns literally had no skills you just had the simple passive ability and a bunch of other minor bug fixes moving on to update 7 this was released on august 11 2019 they added the paw fruit to the game they balanced a bunch of fruits and they buffed the saber v2 making it the best sword suited towards pvp to this day moving on to update 8 this was the new world update it was a really big one because it literally added the second seed to the game the max level was now raised to 1000 and they added a bunch of new islands the kingdom of rose the green zone the dark arena the graveyard and usopp's island and some other small remote islands they also added the barrier fruit they added a long sword gravity cane the sadi the shisui the wado and they also added two new guns which was the acidum rifle which you get by completing the raid and the kabucha which you can buy from usopp they also added a new fighting style which was dragon's breath and they added a bunch of new accessories the black spiky coat the chopper the top hat the warrior helmet the dark coat and swan glasses they also added two new boats which was the flower ship and the swan ship and a bunch of new bosses which was the diamond boss the jeremy boss fajita they added sea beast to the game and the dawn swan boss in the second sea and they also added race progression which means you can upgrade your race to the next level they also added a way 
for people with a bounty requirement or honor requirement to be able to spawn in sea bees. And overall, this was just a really huge update because they literally added a whole new sea. Moving on to update 9, this was the anti-copyright update and they had to change a bunch of stuff. This update came out on December 25th, 2019. The final update of the year Blocks Roots came out. The max level capacity was raised to 1,100. They added the snow mountains, they added the doe fruit, they added the superhuman fighting style, they added the true triple katana, and they changed a lot of visual aspects and content along with the names. One of the examples of this was the gum gum fruit was changed into the rubber fruit, and a bunch of other names were changed to avoid copyright. Moving on to update 10, this update focused on the new hot and cold island as well as balancing a bunch of other things. The new level capacity was 1250, obviously the new island that was added was the hot and cold, they added the control fruit to the game making it the best fruit in the game at the time, they added the jite sword and the coco sword. They also added a zebra cap accessory and a new boss which was the smoke admiral. They also nerfed the doe fruit a bit because it was really overpowered even back in the day. And they increased the bounty slash honor that someone could get to 20 million. And for the Moab players out there, they made boats a little bit easier to control. Moving on to update 12, this is the Awakenings update, and this focused around the Awakening of Fruits. The first fruits in the game that you could awaken were the Flame, Ice, and Quake, and they all came out in this update. They added a new currency called Fragments, which replaced rare artifacts. And unlike artifacts, the currency saves between servers, so it gave players the ability to save them up more. And the Dark Blade was also changed around a bit, it was given a new model, which looks a little bit better than its old one. And they had a buttload of bug fixes and balance changes. And I'm not gonna name them here because it's way too many. Moving on to update 12, this was the Halloween update and this was released on October 21st. The max level cap was raised to 1350, they added a light fruit awakening, a dark fruit awakening, they added a midnight blade, a bizarre rifle, and they also added a three new accessories which was the ghoul mask, the blue spiky coat, and the red spiky coat. And they also added a title system and you could get titles for completing various things in game. They added the ghoul race and they also nerfed the quake v2 a bit. Moving on to update 13 this was the christmas update and it came out on december 23rd 2020 the level cap was raised to 1450 they added the string fruit to the game and this is where they added a string awakening and they also added the dragon fruit to the game they added a new fighting style which was death step and everyone knows you can just upgrade dark step to get it they added a new legendary sword ren goku and this one you could get by defeating the awakened ice admiral and opening the chest they added a new island the ice castle and frost mountain two new drops the hidden key and the library key and they also added a bunch of christmas npcs they added santa claus the magic elf the blast fruit dealer's cousin and the greedy elf and they also fixed this glitch with the control fruit which would just crash servers then moving on to the first update of 2021 this update came out on March 20th and the new level cap was raised to 1525. With this update they obviously disabled the Christmas event because Christmas was long gone by then. They added a new island called the Forgotten Island which was the final island for the second sea. They added a Rumble Awakening, they added Sharkman Karate and they added a new race which was the Cyborg Race. They added the Pole V2 and the Dragon Trident and a bunch of new titles. They also added a bunch of other minor updates. The rest of them were just a bunch of bug fixes. Moving on to the next update and this one was really huge, it added the third C into the game. The level cap was raised to 2000 and a bunch of new islands were added. The floating turtle, the hydra island, port town, the great tree and the castle on the sea. They added the electric claw fighting style to the game and a bunch of new swords. The yama, tushida, dark dagger, cavander, twin hooks and a butt ton of accessories as well. The lee, pilot helmet, musketeer hat, jaw shield, pretty helmet, valkyrie helmet, bandana, hunter cape and they also added a new gun which was the serpent bow. They also added 7 new fruits, the venom fruit, the spin fruit, the door fruit, the kilo fruit, the diamond fruit, the love fruit and the falcon fruit. And 2 new awakenings as well, the magma and the buddha. So now people could grind a lot easier. With this update since it was the third C, they also added observation v2. So for you pvp experts out there, this helped them a ton. And the rest of them were just balance updates. Now moving on to update 16, this was the halloween update for 2021. The level cap was increased to 2001. 100. They added the Halloween event by collecting bones. They added a Halloween NPC which was the Death King and the community liked him so much that he actually stayed even after the event ended. They added a new island which was the Haunted Castle and two new fruits, the Shadow and Revive. Pretty fitting if you ask me. They also added a new sword which was the Hallow Sight, a new fighting style which was Dragon Talon and to get this you had to upgrade your Dragon's Breath. A bunch of new accessories which was the Bear Ears, the Golden Sun Hat and the Holy Crown and a few other titles. They also buffed the control fruit a bit because it was a bit 
bad at the time. Moving on to update 17, this was the Christmas update for 2021. The level cap was increased to 2200. They added back Santa Claus, the Magic Elf, and this time they added the Greedy Elf. But this guy you could only access in the second and third seed. They added two new islands, which was the Peanut Island and Ice Cream Land. They added a new fruit, which was a soul. This would be later changed to the Spirit Fruit because of copyright. They also added an Awakening for the Sand Fruit and a new Buddy Sword that you would get from defeating a certain boss. Moving on to update 17.3. 3.5. This update mostly focused on the Christmas related content reworks and other bug fixes. The level capacity was increased to 2450, which is the max level to this day. And you might be wondering, when was this update actually released? This was released on the 26th of December 2022, so the game literally went almost a year without any updates. And in this update, it was obviously another Christmas event. They literally had two Christmas events in a row. Pretty funny if you ask me. And for this one, they added a new island, the North Pole, which you could only reach in the first and second sea, and a new event that happens every hour at the center of the North Pole Island. They added the new Blizzard Fruit, the new Accessory Holiday Cloak, and the Candy Cane Island. They also reworked a bunch of fruits and some other minor bug fixes. And moving on to the first update of 2023. This was the Race V4 update. And for this one, pretty self Explanatory, they added a v4 for every single race in the game the human angel rabbit shark cyborg and ghoul and next up is the latest event to this day which was a valentine's event they reworked the love fruit making it a lot better to use and they added two new valentine's npcs that you could talk to and get a bunch of stuff from them they also changed the string fruit into the spider fruit because of copyright and a bunch of other minor bug fixes 